you talk about avoiding leaps of faith. Mm. On the other hand, we think of entrepreneurs as those people who are willing to take leaps no. and take some risks. So how do you reconcile that? I mean, how, you know, I'm mean, going to guess you want to invest in people who are willing to try things that haven't been tried before. Well, it's not avoiding leaps of faith. In fact, I think that once you've done your analog and antilogs, the next thing to do is identify your leaps of faith. The issue is not to avoid them, but to correctly define them to correctly sort of say, OK, this is what I know about the world from my analog and antilogs. I understand that people will download digital music. I don't know if they'll pay for it. That's a leap of faith question. I understand that people will listen to music in public settings, but they do it off a CD. I don't know if I can, if I can actually put together a device that is digital that's going to have enough storage, enough battery power, uh, and an interface that is going to work for people. So you end up with these leaps of faith that have to be defined. The key to a leap of faith, though, is understanding the priority of leaps of faith. Why are leaps of faith important? Because they focus you. By understanding the key things you need to answer in order to prove whether your idea is going to work and prioritizing those, you are focusing all of your time and effort on the, the things that will kill you or make your business work. Pinger, for instance, had to figure out with that first voice product how much they were going to invest in a scalable back end, which, by the way, did not address a leap of faith. We know we could develop a scalable back end if we had enough money, versus how much they were going to invest in the voice product itself to see whether or not people liked it. So I, what, what the getting to plan B process recommends is focusing in on no more than three leaps of faith that are definitive of your opportunity. Focusing everything you've got on getting as much information about those empirically, empirically, from the marketplace. And then once you've answered it in the affirmative, moving on, in the negative, course correcting, and then bringing up the next question, a rolling set of questions.